Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you an empties video. This is basically products I've used up where we are literally digging through my beauty trash. Now, I don't know what's all in here. It's been a while since I've done one. Um, the bucket is pretty full, but I'm not quite sure how much makeup is in here. So, let's just dig in, shall we? First thing I'm pulling off the top is a Skin Timid Shave Gel. I've had this in my stock for a while. I just use it up. I have better stuff that I like to use. This stuff used to be my holy grail shaving cream, like like hands down. This is what I bought every time I went to the store. However, since using other stuff, I realized how badly this like cuts my legs up. Even if I'm like being really careful, this just like, I don't know, I get nicks and it's just bad. I get bumps. I don't like it. I'm never going to buy this again unless I'm absolutely hard pressed. But yeah, so this is used up out of my stock. Um, next are the tried and true clean clear makeup dissolving makeup wipes these take off my makeup really well sometimes I don't even feel the need to wash my face after um, but I try to because that just leads to breakouts next I have a makeup sample here this has been in my collection a while and it was just time to just try it and use it up this is the Too Faced cocoa powder foundation I used this one day it was just one of those that had like one time use um, right there I use this to set my foundation I don't know, maybe I just had too dark of a powder, but it just didn't look very good on my skin. Like, it set nicely, but it was just too dark. Um, it definitely didn't smell like chocolate, like it said it was supposed to, um, but it was nice to try. I don't think I'll go out of my way to purchase it because I don't really use uh, powder foundation all that much. I just, I don't think I would go out and spend 30 bucks on a, like, powder foundation that I'm going to use to set my makeup. Like, it's just not going to happen. Next is a hair product. This is the Borigio. I think that's how it's pronounced. This is the Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioner. I got, I got this in an Ipsy last month and I really liked it. It smelled like Febreze, but I was totally okay with that because for some reason I was really digging the Febreze smell. This wasn't exactly all that fantastic. I have other leave-in treatments that I like and that I'm going to be using instead. I don't that's really cool to try for a while. I don't think I'm going to go out and buy it because I do have other stuff that I like even better and then I do have stuff that I'm trying to use up. So this was cool but I'm not going to buy it. Just trying to weed through some of my samples. Uh, I do have my I do have a packet of my Bic Soleil razors. It's shaving season so it's short season. It's short season so I'm going through those like a mad woman. I feel like I'm going through this like super fast. I have a shampoo here. This is the L'Oreal Total Repair 5. I love this stuff. Uh, one of my favorite shampoos from the drugstore. Uh, right now I'm currently working through some other stuff that I've had in my stock for a while so but I will repurchase. I've repurchased this several several times. Uh, I have a face wash that I absolutely love. This is the Purity Made Simple. This was the 8 fluid ounce. I've gone through many many of these. Uh, I am totally missing this right now. Like I wish I could go buy another bottle because I miss using it every day. I'm currently using a sample that I got in an Ipsy a while ago. It's a generous sample so it's taking some time and then I do have another face wash that I want to use up before I go buy this because this is kind of pricey and as much as I love it I feel like I should probably use up some of my other stuff first. Um, Okay, this is really, really random, but this is the Cot Air straightener that I've had for years and years, and it bit the dust. If you have saw my May favorites, you saw me talking about my new straightener that I absolutely love that replaced this guy. I'm so sad that this died. We, you know, when you have a straightener for a really long time, you really are sad when it finally dies. That being said, I really love my new straightener, so, I mean, whatever. Um, this is the shaving cream that is my holy grail. This is Coochie. I get it through Pure Romance. It's $18 a bottle, so it's kind of pricey, but I really love the effect this has on my legs. I don't get any nicks or cuts. I don't get any bumps or irritation when I use this. I get a really smooth shave, and the hair seems to take longer to grow back when I use this stuff, so I love it so much. And I have one more bottle left in my stock, and I'm going to be sad when I use that up. I have another packet of makeup remover wipes. Um, let's see. I don't know why that's in there. I have a shaving... I have a shower gel that I used up. This is the Bath & Body Works Signature Berry Vanilla. I've had this in my 
collection for longer than I'd like to admit. I think I got it when I was still in community college, so it's at least three years old. So I finally used that up. I don't know how long shower gels are good for, but this I've had for a while. And yeah, I really enjoyed it for a while, but then when I was trying to just use it up, I remember getting really sick of it. Like right now, I can't even stand to smell it because I was just like, okay, this is old. I need to like use it and get rid of it. So yeah, I kind of got sick of the scent. Now it's kind of sweet. Like I don't like sweet scents like this anymore. I have another hair product here. This is the Redken All Stuff Supple Touch uh, Softening Cream Leave-In Treatment. I absolutely adore this stuff. This is my go-to like leave-in conditioner when I get out of the shower. Spray it in my hair. It detangles really nicely and it just makes my hair feel really soft. You know, I bleach my hair. So that bleach does really hard things to your so that bleach does really bad things to your hair. But this I feel like just totally cancels that out. I love this stuff and I really want to repurchase it. But like I said, I am using other leave-in treatments. But when I get through all of that, I'm definitely gonna go buy this because I loved it. Um in here I have a skincare product. This is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. Again, just another skincare product that I use religiously. Have gone through so many of these. I think I've been using this since I was a teenager, honestly, because it's just so great. And I went away from it for a while, and then I came back to it. Love it to pieces. I have another bottle in my bathroom that's almost gone, so this stuff is just great. Okay, now we're getting into the makeup, and I have one product. I have two products that I completely use, and then another that I'm just getting rid of because it's they're really old, and I just need to get rid of them. I have a thing of Carmex that I've went through. I've been use I've been losing these a lot, so I haven't had them in an empties video in a while because before I can use one up, I completely lose it. So this one stuck around for a while. And then I have another lip treatment and it's all it's all gone, but there was like a little bit left like on the thing here and it's just melted, so that's kind of disgusting. This is the baby lips Dr. Rescue. This is the clear Oof. This is the clear one. I also have a tinted one that's like a mauvey pink. I don't like that one as much. This one really does some nice things for my lips. I definitely can't use it like all the time. I definitely need to use my Carmex on top of it. Um, but this was really nice just to throw in my purse and that way I didn't have to like touch my lips um, with my fingers if I was out and about. So this was nice. I don't know if I'll repurchase it though just because my Carmex works so much better. Okay so I have Two foundations that I'm just tossing because they're old and they just need to go away. The first one is by Yabi. This I got in an Ipsy or a Birch Box or something. It sat in my collection for a year. I didn't use it, so I'm just like, I better throw it away. I did get like a few uses out of it, and I just must not have liked it, so I never used it again. So this one's getting tossed. And then I have this Revlon. Um, I don't even know what this was because like it's starting to wear off. This was like their new, there was this, this was like a liquid makeup, a lightweight one. I can't even remember. I think I used it for a while and I stopped using it. Gosh, I bought this when I was still at community college, like right before I graduated. So this was from 2013 and yeah, it was just time to go. So I don't think I used it between now and then. So I'm just throwing it away and then I have two lipsticks here that I'm throwing away that have been in there for a very long time and I've never used them like I hardly ever used them and they were just colors that I just didn't like this one is a Revlon color this one's a Revlon color burst lipstick in strawberry shortcake I am not quite sure why I never used this it was just one that I never really reached for the camera's making it look kind of purple um, but it was a very bright bubblegum pink and it's just it, I think it was something that just didn't look good on me so I never wore it and then this one oh god this is several several years old this is the Revlon super lustrous matte lipstick and pink pout I bought this because a lot of people on YouTube talked about it but I really don't like matte lip colors especially ones from the drugstore because they're so drying and this color just looked awful on me too so I just never wore it this was like a big trendy lipstick way back in the beginning of YouTube so I bought that but I never used it so I'm getting rid of that. And then what you will not see in this empties slash trash video is the hoard of makeup I had to throw away um, after dealing with all the cockroaches at the house I was supposed to move into. Um, I will insert a picture of that right here but basically what happened was 
we had to bomb all of my belongings that were in that house that I was supposed to move into. Um, Cause we started moving in, then we found the cockroaches and then we're like, we're out, we're not gonna live here. Um, and then we were like, okay, well we're gonna bomb all of our belongings before we move them into the new apartment. So I had a bunch of makeup in there and I totally forgot to take it out because I was like, oh, the makeup should be fine. The cockroaches aren't gonna get in the makeup. And I forgot, and especially because they were like in makeup bags, I was like, oh, those should be okay to just take. Well, I forgot to move them out, and so they were bombed, and the poison got into them. They weren't like airtight. Some of the makeup was okay, like the lip glosses, because lip glosses are like in a sealed airtight thing, so they don't dry out. Those were okay, but a lot of my lipsticks and all of my blushes, except for like my Benefit uh, Cheeky Palette, because I had that at my grandparents' house. So all of that makeup that I just showed you in that picture is gone. Like I had to throw it out. And to be completely honest, a lot of it should have been tossed years ago because I was going through it and going, wow, some of this stuff was, I bought when I just graduated high school. Like it was that old, like seriously, like going on six years old. And I'm just like, you know what? Some of this should have been thrown away a long time ago. It's disgusting. But a lot of it was also newer stuff. Like all the, a good majority of the blushes were purchased within the last year so they were still like not bad so it was sad um and now I guess I have an excuse to go shopping for makeup when I actually have money to spend because if you've been following my uh, beauty channel you know I have not been shopping for makeup recently like I did a little bit in April I think in April or March somewhere in there and like I bought some new things but I didn't buy a lot and I've just been trying to use up some of my stuff and really get some use out of it so now that I've purged all that stuff I guess I can go buy some more but <laughs> anyway we're getting like way off topic so ooh, I just like had a total brain fart and I don't even know I was gonna say something I don't even know what to say so I better just end this video now thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think I love watching empties videos so if you have some that you want me to check out please leave it in the comment below because I always like to watch them um, and thank you uh, thanks again. Be sure you guys subscribe and like this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!